Okay, so I'm here at Michael's. We are about to film another um, My Tipsy Talk Tuesday video with the crew. He made some jambalaya this time. He did not leave his hanging. So I wanted to film myself with my reaction. I know it's gonna be delicious, so here we go. Y'all see the sausage and the chicken and that rice and that shrimp. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my Are you serious? This tastes so good. Seriously, no, it is perfection. It tastes so good. Look, y'all just don't even know. You don't even know. All right, what's up guys? We are back with another My Tipsy Talk Tuesday video with the crew, of course. We have somebody new here today. You wanna introduce yourself? Hello there, I am Kurt. <laughs> I have been uh, asked to there, subbing <laughs> for someone. <laughs> so we're gonna have a good day and we're gonna see what the questions have and see what the answers and see how people feel about it. Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm Tiara. that's all I got for you. She was the person on the side. I was the person over on the last side last time. She was the mimosa server last time. Yes, that was me. All right, you guys already know me, Maisha. Jazz again. One Z, not two. What does that mean, though? I don't like when people put J A Z Z. It's hella ugly. Gotcha. One Z, not two. Note it. You know, it sounds like you're saying one Z. One Z. or whatnot what you guys want to talk about so we have a variety of topics ranging from friendships relationships dating all that good stuff um and yeah we also have our shots here 1800 so we did mimosas last week or the week before now we're going to go ahead and take a shot so we're going to take it right now is everybody ready to take a shot yeah. or yeah. oh god kids i'm talk, kind of tired of babysitting this thing <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I don't oh. like that. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's nasty. Ugh. Cut that part out when I just did that with my lips. Also, got some jambalaya here. <laughs> that that I'm good. eating on. Hell yeah. Uh, Michael. Uh, Props made. to Mike. Yeah, it was delicious. Michael Lee, for it someone who didn't like his middle name when he was a kid, he's using it now. I'm definitely embracing it now. <laughs> okay. 2017 was a great year. That's when I started embracing it. That was your Vegas year, right? Yes, it was. That was a good year. Okay, so I guess starting out, the first topic is um, outgrowing friendships or relationships. I feel like this is a good one because... I was telling Michael earlier, we do outgrow, you know, friendships. You outgrow people uh, that you happen to grow up with or go to high school with or whatnot. You just, you know, you become adults. Some people end up having families and, you know, or having careers, going to school, and life just gets in the way. Sometimes you can't help it. I mean, I can't just always go out and party with you and <laughs> turn up. I got life things happening. So I think that happens to the best of us. Some people are leaves on your tree, some people are branches, and some people are roots. I like that. Yeah. Damn, I like that. Uh, that's yeah. deep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who did you get that from, T? I think it was some Tyler Perry or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yes. <laughs> it sounded, yeah, it sounded something like that. Mm -hmm. um, no, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt? Well, for me, it depends. Well, I have friends from our 
everybody's cool with it, and we're still cool with it. So it just depends on, the, I guess, the circle that you would incline yourself with from high school for me. So those guys are still my boys. So we still talk every day and hang out. It's been about 20 years. So. 20 years, that's and a long time. And mm-hmm. they went to college, and I stayed here. And we still communicate, still exist. Mm-hmm. Just depends on the kind of people that they are as far right. as, you know, how they hold themselves and reaching out and, you know, not feeling as if they left and, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So it just depends. I agree. I feel like it was another question too. Somebody also said balancing friendships. I also feel like just having that good balance between, you know, friendships and maintaining those friendships and relationships, but still maintaining, you know, yeah, still, your still personal coming life. back and acting like nothing, like you didn't not see each other for three months. Right. right. Exactly. Still- those are the best friendships when, right. you know what I'm saying? You can go months or whatnot without talking and hanging out, but then you can still come together like nothing ever happened. You know, cause some people, they just, I don't know, they feel some type of way and it's like, I'm sorry, yeah. but I have things going on. I'm not just purposely avoiding you, but I do, I have work, I have school, I have a kid to take care of. You know, I'm trying to do things, you know, run a business, whatever the case is, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like, I promise you, I still love you. <laughs> We're gonna get lost. together. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get together when I can make time, but. Just, you know, know that other things are happening and, you know, other things are in my life besides just you. And really, if your friend takes that personal, then maybe you guys weren't meant to mm-hmm. be maybe friends Maybe it was just run. for the time. Yeah. Right. yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. they was just like, like the friend you party with or something. Right. right. So it's like, you're not convenient for them anymore. Mm-hmm. That's true. That is so true because... That's what I you hear people say mm-hmm. that like you got different types of friends you got the friends that you can party with and turn up with mm-hmm. you got friends that you might call for advice because they're mature they've mm-hmm. been through certain things you got friends that you know what i'm saying you just connect with on different levels right and that's okay you know like it's like you're my turn up friend i may call you mm-hmm. you know when it's time to party but then i have her or him who i go to for advice because i i trust them that much it's only the yeah, idea just one say, it yeah, was really yeah, strong, but... friendships was like a thing mm-hmm. yeah because like my closest people like jana vicky sophia they live mm-hmm. like on the whole other side of the country we don't yeah. see each other at all and michael <laughs> jasmine what you're here yeah now what the fuck i've been gone for the past three years but you're here and you were just talking about like literally I just right my name now is, i just wanted my name involved okay, okay love you <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> my goodness, no I think you might need to leave that alone. <laughs> but anyway, I've known Janet and Vicky since we were five, literally inseparable, and they're way the hell out over there. And then Sophia's damn near my sister, way the hell over there. We talk every day. Mm-hmm. Janet and Vicky, we may not talk every day, but when we link up, it's just like nothing ever happens. Like we've seen each other yesterday. Right. So, yeah, so it's all about the friendships. Yeah. You do have real people. Yes, but those people that are meant to be there will be there, no matter what. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because it's like, the problem is some people, you also outgrow habits too. You know what I'm saying? You might have certain friends, because that's happened to me. I've had certain friends where all they want to do is just turn up. Mm -hmm. And I'm not that. You know, that's fine every once in a while, but every weekend, wanting to drink every day or every, you know what I'm saying? Every weekend. I got other things that I'm trying to focus I'm on. I'm tired. Though, right. right. I'm trying to build a future. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to be this young forever. So it's like, I just, I got things that I'm trying to build towards. And, you know, if that's that's what your your goal in life is, is to just be the turn up queen, then kudos to you. That's fine. Yeah, but we that. are going to outgrow that though. Mm-hmm. You know, understand that we may grow apart. And then another thing is like some... Females are very, like, jealous and, like, territorial, especially when they have, like, multiple friends. Because, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because you see some yeah. females are like, well, you hung out with her and blah, 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 blah. Oh, so why yeah. can't you hang out with me? You spend more time with her. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're jealous when you have multiple best friends or whatnot. So it's just like. It is crazy you bring that up because I've been in a situation where somebody introduced me to one of their friends and I ended up being really good friends with the person they introduced me with. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so me when I was talking to them more, <laughs> and then we cut that bitch off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is <laughs> And it's like, dude, you should, be, you should be proud because you brought this positive energy together. Mm-hmm. 
and so now you bringing it down. It's like, bitch, we don't need you. Yeah, that fact. Yep. That is so that true. Happens, yep. <laughs> Honestly, truly. <laughs> that happened. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Somebody wants to know: Would you hold it down <laughs> if, your part- <laughs> if your partner went to jail? How long are we talking? Fuck that nigga. <laughs> talking a week. <laughs> or, you got yourself or, in this. You want to be talking about yes. Right. For a man, if my girl is going down, I'm assuming it's not going to be for long. Cause, I mean, I don't see why she would kill someone. I mean, I, never, I mean, I can't see actually. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a thin line between love and hate, but other than that, I don't think she would be going down for more than a year. So. But what is your limit? Limit would be a year. My limit is three months. <laughs> <laughs> three months. Can't hold That's all out. I got. Hmm. Uh, for me, let's see. Mm. I know. Limit is like. I know. That's like. I don't know. That's. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I feel. I want to say maybe I agree with you, Michael. Three months. I feel like that's, you know. Cause time goes by kind of kind of fast, I guess. I mean, I'm I wanna I'm just gonna say three months maybe. You bow for a year, Hell a boy. whole year. You go away for how a whole deep? year. Okay, how, how deep is it? How exactly. Long how deep? It's a lot of factors. There's a lot of that's factors. True. There's a lot of factors. Like we've been true. rocking and rolling for that's a year. Y'all got kids together. together mm-hmm. All of that. Yeah, you got to take all of that in. For sure. Depending on the circumstances. Yeah. We're not that deep. I was like, oh, I got to go. Now, yeah. you, how what? about this? What if you meet somebody and they're in jail? Would you what? talk to somebody? Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> because, because, like, because you can have a connection with somebody who's already, you know, they be on Netflix. Talking to somebody in the toilet. They be having their phones. They be on social media. So, like, what This is very true. That is true. Yes. You could. You could. You could build a connection with somebody. I see that jump house pose and a picture and request. True. Yeah. So it's like some people really be, you know, end up having that connection with people and they be behind bars and they like, look, baby, I got like another year, another two. Female who he's telling that you saw jailbirds talking through the toilets. That's talking. true, everybody. <laughs> Why are some men or women afraid of commitment nowadays? Niggas is trying to find you find that a lot. Is <laughs> it goes both ways. Yes, mm-hmm. it does. That's a good that is a good one. Um, I don't know. I feel like because everything is so sexualized nowadays. Everything is just about sex nowadays. And it's like, if you're not putting out early, if you're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, then don't nobody really want to waste your time to get to know somebody to really take the time to really, you know what I'm saying? Actually date. Everybody is all about, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, but trying to get it in real quick and move on to the next or whatever. Don't nobody actually like to date old school and actually like have fun and enjoy the person's company and enjoy conversation. Don't nobody like to do that no more. That's boring. Yeah. You know? So it's like, I don't know. It's just the, just the, the, the world we live in currently nowadays, our generation, that's just what it is. <laughs> Unfortunately. And, and really, I see a lot of situationships where mm-hmm. it's like they, they're in that position because they feel like they have to be like, for example, let's say, a dude gets kicked out of his apartment. He got to get with old girl to have a roof under his head or right. over his head. It's so, like he's forced to commit mm-hmm. almost. Mm-hmm. So and it never works out. And it's it true. Out. So it's like that time taking that time to really get to know somebody is uh, crucial. <laughs> exactly. Crucial. For today is crucial. Important. You know, just don't. Be mm-hmm. trying to find out what their favorite color is. Get deeper. No. Right. Get deeper. Sure. Yeah. Uh, purple. Okay. <laughs> Same. <laughs> exactly. Same. Yeah. Like, don't do the whole basic, you know, what's your favorite color? If you had a superpower, what would it be? Yeah. You know, like, I've actually never asked you that. Gotta, you so gotta, I, I hear that a lot. Form. Like, you know, get deeper. Like, figure out what their family is like. Because you can tell a lot about, you know what I'm saying, somebody, figure out what their family is like, how close they are to their family. Figure out, you know, where... 
So what are their ambitions, their goals, you know, where their mind is at, you know, figure, get, get deeper, it has to be more deeper than just sex. Mm -hmm. It seems like common sense, but it's not for a lot of people. So There's a lot of simple minded people out there. Right? Yeah. I hear what yeah. they're saying. I feel like there's a butt to this. Is there a butt to that? <laughs> <laughs> there's a butt to that. <laughs> I'll be listening. No, nah, but commitment, but commitment is tough. <laughs> for me, for me, I always feel like women always, always, they always have that one guy that they've been with or, you know, that they don't know how to really work it out with each other. They've been, you know, lingering. And he, it's always one guy that's in the background. So for women, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard for them because it's always one guy. But for guys, it's just like, we don't know how to give our all. To, yeah. to, we don't know how to give our all to, to let you guys in all the way. That's exactly what it is. It's, I've come it's, across it's very that tough. and just and have the For the sex that. part, I feel like, yeah, you shouldn't, but yeah, I would want to test drive that car before I put invest my money into buying this car. For real. But don't. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't have to be. We're not making it all about the sex. Exactly. But yeah. that's, I mean, because after sex, that's where the chemistry is. Can can you guys still, can I bring you in closer? Mm -hmm. Or do I want to, you know, sit over here and watch TV and be like, damn, when's she about to leave? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, what, what you about to do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The homie just texted me. You know what I mean? Your cousin came to talk about family emergency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, I, I got a baby, Sarah. Like, like, ain't no babies in my family, but I got a baby. Like, a lot of women don't shoot their shot, though. Facts. That's another thing. A lot of women don't shoot their shot. A lot of men do, and a lot of men get, you know, get kicked to the to the to the, to the side. You know what I mean? So. That's that's what also what I, I say about shot, women. I shot my shot once or twice. I'm just, those, I'm just one of those. I'm just one of those. Like it's cool. Like I'm fine with it. Like test driving a little bit. I did. I get that. I get that because even the kids though. Even because, the kids a little groping, a little. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. Because no. you know what? When you don't test drive, then it's just kind of like okay. Right, you got a lemon. Right. You, 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 you know, Ryan Lemon. <laughs> you go ahead and get, you know, you get attracted to somebody and, you know, everything seems good. You know, okay, conversation, you know what I'm saying? They may even be attracted. And then it's like, you get to that point in the shit where, room. yeah, you become intimate with the person and it's like, oh, this is not what I expected. God damn it. Now, yeah. every, now everything else lines up because I've been in that position. Now so everything else you lines up. Train him? You Train couldn't, him? You couldn't, you couldn't. From being little? No. Oh, oh, little? Oh, that's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that but, right? From being little? Yeah. Can't make mm. it be bigger, brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, the whole, you know, the test drive, I, I get that. Just don't, you can't test drive every car, though. Exactly. But, yeah, exactly. so, exactly. you know. You're only going to go to what you're looking for. Right. No, that's why you don't want a Toyota, but don't hop in and try to drive. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> Put some effort in. Mm -hmm. I know you feel like that's because you're holding honey. You got yeah, you are. See, something right? wrong with me right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool. It was a beautiful moment. I was like, you haven't said moment. much. You have anything about this subject? Yeah, you really haven't what said anything. What are we talking anything. about right now? Commitment. Um, yeah, commitment. Why some people don't like committing nowadays? Because they want everybody. Mm -hmm. From a man's perspective, this is not my perspective. But from a, the general man perspective, they're not going to put their they're not they're not going to put all their eggs in one basket, which I wouldn't do either. So this woman might have a little bit more eggs than this other woman, but you know we're going to test out all these, and we're trying to try to find out which one we actually want to give our all to. Well, ninety percent to. 90%, to ninety percent to ninety percent to yeah can't give your all, not and that shit takes days. a while. That shit takes a while. Because, you know, you know what that's all I have to say about it. Oh, I need to stop drinking. <laughs> yeah. That's true, because certain, you know, experiences, I've given my all and it doesn't work out. And then I may try to give my all again and it doesn't work out. It's like, you know what? <laughs> now you get the bare minimum because it's like, now I'm so cautious. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm treading that's lightly. What guys, that's what guys are getting. Mm-hmm. That's why we act the way we act because mm-hmm. we know we're getting the bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like my past experience. So it's like mm-hmm. now I'm, I I may be scared, I may be cautious, mm-hmm. I may be, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to continue to get my heart broken mm-hmm. over and over again. Mm-hmm. So it's like so now it's Men just, have hearts too. We gonna get our heart broken also. Well, I have mm, one time then. Yeah. So women, you cannot bring all that toxic shit from past relationships to the next shot. man. Okay? Because right. then it yeah. turns us off. Then right. we about to be toxic back. Right. Why don't men or women take you seriously if you have more than one baby mom or baby dad? Thank <laughs> 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 you. That's yeah. Because I can't That's date a, one. a woman with mom. That's just me personally. I'm oh. 33. I don't have kids, so I can't. I, I don't. It's not the same situation. I feel like um, baby mama always gonna be there. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But when you have like, but when you have like eight of them, yeah. My dad, <laughs> <laughs> my dad was just close. Like, you guys are in love. I mean, it's not. I mean, by that, I mean you should because. have more than one. Like my thing is, if you have more than one kid by someone, it's not. The first one might be an accident. The second one can't be an accident. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Right, and then the other baby mom was just on some other BS. She was really kind of non-existent. So it really wasn't even like the drama or anything like that. It was just having to get used to that whole lifestyle. Like, because I have a kid, I don't mind dating other men, you know, yeah. with, with kids. That's so, fine. But I feel like there is a limit to how many kids I will accept. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Because, <laughs> like, there is a limit Zero. now. <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. You're the one. But if she's 55 and she has kids, yeah. then I'm all for it. If she's how old? 55? 55? So her kids grown, huh? They your age. Exactly. <laughs> 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 like, what is it? Why are you talking about 55? Are you chilling with the kids? I'm like, geez. Zindy Kuglin watching is basically what I'm saying. Zindy Kuglin watching is basically what I'm saying. Yeah, to the person that asked that question, um, hopefully we answered it for you. It was hopefully. We, we got multiple answers going on. So I think, you know, that's what it is. I think just try your best to maintain those uh, relationships with, you know, your baby moms. If you have multiples, um, do the best you can, I would say. You know, sometimes you do the best you can and it just... It don't work out, you know. I'm being honest. That's that's my situation. <laughs> you know, you do the best you can co-parenting, and sometimes, a lot of the time, y'all just gonna get into it, and y'all can't stand each other, and it just is what it is, you know. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's all you can do. I I'm a firm believer in there's somebody for everybody, so you will meet I'm somebody. I'm a firm believer in that too. You, it don't matter how crazy your fetishes are. It don't matter how crazy of a person you is. You will meet and come across somebody who's going way. to love you to death, okay? So it's like, you know, there's sick. everybody got a Joker, everybody got a Harley Quinn to them, okay? So it's like, I love my Harley Quinn. You know, it's just, you will come across somebody who's gonna accept you, is what I'm trying to say. Accept you and all your baby moms. <laughs> Not a damn kid! Because <laughs> accept you and all your kids. Once you got it. So, <laughs> Somebody wanted to know, um, how do you be body positive and carefree, but not wanting to show it all and bear it all on social mm. media? How do you keep that fine balance? You know, cause we could be like, I love my body. Like I do, I, I nothing wrong with showing a little skin, you know what I'm saying? Posing in a bathing suit or whatnot, the little short shorts. But then how do you have that fine balance of, you know what I'm saying? Not wanting to portray yourself as that. Well, type or whatnot on social media well for me personally my dad i have a dad mom and a grandmother who follow me on social uh, social media so for Same. respect for them i'm not gonna sh you know show everything right unless it's snap <laughs> <laughs> maybe rarely hit the close friends on instagram rarely. right <laughs> that's true but um well that's just most of the time, I, won't, I just won't show anything, period. Like, yeah. You know, you just have to be surprised in person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not saying way. I have multiple uncles. I have my dad. You know, I have my mom. I have my grandma. Okay. I have lots of uh, men in my family that are my blood that, you know, follow me on social media. So it's just like, I know my dad has mentioned this before. Mm -hmm. He actually really stays away from my Instagram because he's like, I don't want to feel like I'm stalking my daughter's page. So he's like, you know, you can mute people nowadays. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can mute stories and mute posts. So you ain't got to see them. So people that, you know, you seeing stuff you don't want to see, just mute them if you don't want to unfollow them. Mm -hmm. You know, simple as that. But, um, you know, my dad has mentioned, he's like, you know, you're my daughter or whatever. I know you're an adult. You're going to post whatever you want to post. But, to, you know, I just refrain myself from, you know, going to your page and feeling like I'm that dad and stalking your page or whatever because I may not agree with everything you post, you know what I'm saying? So I'll just give you your space. So I feel like that's, you know, what's needed when it comes to family if you have kids or whatnot that, you know what I'm saying, that are like that. Um, but I feel like we would just, like I said earlier, having that, that good balance, you know, staying true to yourself. You know what I'm saying? It, some people feel like sex sales. You know what I'm saying? Some people feel like it's just the thing to get more followers. So you need to be <laughs> right. You need to be half naked. You shit. need to, you know, you need to show all your goods. You know, to your thousands and millions of followers. 
you know, because that's that's what's in nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Twerking all over the internet and, you know, <laughs> like doing all of that. Like so that's nice. Just stay, <laughs> just stay true to yourself. If that's you, kudos to you. That's good, you know. All, but that's not that's not what all females like to do. I'm you know tweet. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like just that's all I can say. Stay true to you. You know, do what makes you comfortable. Be you. Be you. Be you. That's all you can do. Don't try to be nobody else. Mm-hmm. Don't try to do what everybody else is doing because all you're going to end up doing is just disappointing yourself. Mm-hmm. You know? I, yeah, I feel like just be comfortable with whatever. Like if you're looking to be, what's the question? If you want to be body, body positive? Yeah, be body positive, but don't bear it all. And don't bear it all. I feel like there's yeah. levels to this shit. Like mm-hmm. um, I've been trying to become more body positive lately. And so, really, like, I'll just post my gym pictures, and I feel like that's not anything crazy. I'm yeah. not going, you're not going to see me in no lingerie or nothing online. Right. Like, mm-hmm. these other, right. but I mean. Right. Mm-hmm. I think that comes from the way you were raised, the way women mm-hmm. were raised. So, right. women, this, these new females are. This new way. This is what they, <laughs> yeah, this is, what they, this is what they see. They see half naked women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Women, 80, 80, you know, 80, what, 85, 86, 84. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you guys were born? 88. 88. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 90 for me. 91. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not. I'm 84. You weren't even not us. I guess I'm the oldest of the bunch. Yeah, yeah you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but I, I do feel agree like this, with you, though. Yeah, I feel like this is the way that you guys were raised. Like, you guys, your your mm-hmm. parents tell you. These 2000 kids are so different. That's just how I was raised. My mom just raised me with morals and everything. Like, I'll like your pictures. You post them on your Okay, you go, cute girl. Like, that's fine. You got the little Savage X Fenty going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would like the pictures. Would I do it personally? No. No. I think that's you know, it's just not me. my you cup guys of tea. to each other and you guys get your guys' confidence from each other. Facts. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's exactly yes. what it is. Yeah. That's you guys exactly don't have to post it, it online. Exactly. Right. Exactly. That's something for, like, my man to see. I'm going to send that to my man. You know what I'm saying? The most somebody would see from me online is probably in a bathing suit if I'm, like, at the beach or at the pool party, at the pool party, whatever. But, that's it. Right. Yeah, you're not going to be in a no bed, in a hotel room, lingerie. No. I don't think you'll see any of these girls in, in that. No. Mm-hmm. They're different. Unless exactly. I sent them to you directly. Right. Facts. Right. That part. Yep. And yep. even then, I'd be like, oh, I don't want to send that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 So just stay true to yourself. You know, mm-hmm. you, you have to do that nowadays because it's like this social media will have you all up in your feelings, all up in your head. You know what I'm saying? Thinking yeah. that you have to that go above and beyond. That. Just remember, exactly. you're not getting yeah. paid for the picture that you're posting. So right. Stop, stop right. taking it so serious. Right. right. You know, you do, you now see, that's a little pictures. bit. That's a little bit. you got an OnlyFans. Now, <laughs> if you're getting paid for it, <laughs> but if you're getting paid for it, then yeah. Thanks. Now that is a little different. That's true. That's true because, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these influencers and YouTubers and stuff that I follow, you know, the reason why they post in this Savage X Fenty and stuff is because they're being sponsored by them. They're getting that check. I know. <laughs> like, no. you know, so it's like, baby girl, make your money. Yeah. <laughs> is, you know? So <laughs> <laughs> but uh, doing it for free, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that ain't no. me. Mm-hmm. No. What you gonna get out of me is a crop top. <laughs> right? Or, right. <laughs> right. Crop top, baby suit, mm-hmm. that is it. Mm-hmm. How do you balance I'm the only one that has kids, but I guess y'all can pitch in too. How do you balance having children and getting to know a love interest? Love Yeah, interest. I don't got a response for that And one. I was like, that's a good one because you do have a lot of single parents that, you know what I'm saying, have kids yeah. and are trying to get out there and date and everything. So it's like, how do you balance, balance that, that mm-hmm, between the two? I think social media makes it easier from what I can see. It. Yeah. Because, like, if you think back to from when we were kids and it was our parents and your mom or dad was single or whatever, they would have to physically go to, mm-hmm. uh, what, what club was popping in the 90s? <laughs> the Elks. The Elks. <laughs> um, yup. <laughs> that one spot on Foreign and Franklin. What's that? I forgot the name of it. Somebody was talking oh, about it. Oh, the North. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. But, yeah. <laughs> You actually have to get out, but now I think social media right. just makes it easier, you know, talk to somebody and then y'all eventually set a date. You got time to prepare for a babysitter. It does. Everybody yeah. pays time in a video exactly. chat now, so it's like, it does make it easier. Exactly. I just feel like just having that balance, remembering that your kids will always come first mm-hmm. and the other person needs to understand that too. But also, 
make sure that you make time for you though. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, it's like, it's kind of contradicting one another, but it's kind of not. Your kids will always come first, but yeah. remember to still that? have your life. You how still you, need to have how do you try to be like aggressive as, as you guys want us to be when you guys have a kid. You guys, you know, can't can be available as much as we can. Is you know what I mean? So we're trying mm-hmm. to we're trying to balance it as men. We're trying to balance it also. Like, yeah. then how much pressure can we put on them? Yeah. As far as to get away from their kids just to have a few hours mm-hmm. with me, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's I hard. guess it just feels like it's hard for some because I, I speak for myself. Now, me having one child, my kid is 10. So, you know what I'm saying? He stayed home by himself. Right. I go to work and stuff. He's, yeah, he's, he's very mature. He knows yeah. what to do and what not to do. He's, you know, so it's like I can trust him and I just depends. I guess it just depends on the age of your children, obviously. You know, you got younger kids, you got a, you know, one year old, a two year old, three year old, then obviously, yeah, your time is gonna be kinda like limited, right? Yeah, right, limited. But the older your kids are, the more mature, the more independent they are, then it becomes easier. But I also feel like I'm a firm believer in you make time for what's important for you. So if I'm talking to you, you know what I'm saying, as a potential partner or somebody that is that I'm taking interest in. Oh, trust me, I'm going to make the time for you, whether I have a child or not. I'm going to make the time for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we may have to schedule ahead of time. I may not Mm -hmm. be able to do stuff last minute. You might not be able to call me up today, like, let's take a weekend trip to San Francisco or something (laughs) like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, hold on. Could we try for next weekend, maybe? You know what I'm saying? We might have to schedule ahead of time. But I'm going to make the time if I'm interested in you. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm always using my kid as an excuse or you know something right. as an excuse then i just feel like they may not be that interested right. right because i'm period some people don't believe that but i do you will make time it, i don't care how busy you are you if time. you enjoy you something right yeah. if i like you i'm gonna make the time for you <laughs> trust and believe that so um where you doing later? yeah um, go ahead um <laughs> You guys don't know, but I used to be married, and we, I had a stepdaughter. So after the relationship, I never had to create time for these other women when my daughter was with me. They wanted her to come. They would say, hey, can I take you you guys out here? Can we go to the bay? Stuff like that. They always wanted to involve my stepdaughter. So it's like I never had to like make time or anything like that. Is that like a woman's thing? Do men do that I too? Know, I was about to say that's interesting because I've heard some people have done that. Actually, Shakila mentioned that in our video that we did together. She mentioned that she was like the guy wanted to take me and my boys out, and She's I was like, like, "Hell no!" Yeah, I was like, "That's weird on a first or second date because we just getting to know each other." And me personally, I'm not introducing my kids to just every guy that I'm dating. I don't that's agree with that personally. Yeah, like is it different you know what I'm saying? women? I, I I guess so. I guess it is. It's it's different because I'm not. I don't know. Like me personally, even. Let's just say if I didn't have a kid and I know you have a kid. Not that I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, involve your child or whatever, but I'm going to tread carefully. I'm not going to invite you out with your kid. I'm just going to be like, you know, I have nothing against your child, but I know that it's about me and you getting to know each other on that level first. So before we bring kids and family into it, let's make sure, you know what I'm saying, we make it to that level first Mm -hmm. before we start, you know what I'm saying, inviting kids out and doing this like family type of stuff because... I just we ain't there right now in the beginning like that's it's too soon for that so um I would just pump your brakes on people you know if y'all that type of man or woman that feel like I mean do what you want to do by all means but I I don't know most people that I talk to they are not okay with that being you know I'm saying like I'm just meeting you I don't want to bring my child around you (laughs) <laughs> if I had kids, I definitely would not bring them on a date to meet anybody. Mm-hmm. We'd have to be deep into like whatever we're doing for you to meet my kids. It's right. crazy. Like I don't bring nobody to my house. Right. Like mm-hmm. I damn near you gotta be my boyfriend to come to my house. Right. That's where I live. That's where I am. That's my safety. Like I, I don't invite people to my house. And then right. that's another thing. That's my fucking nurse when talking to somebody like, oh, let me come over. Like no. Right. I swear. No. I just had that situation. No. <laughs> Can we drink and chill? I literally met Joe one day and he 
exchanged numbers the same day. The next day, he was like, hey, we come over. But no, 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 Why no. Why did they just come over to us? Like, why don't you we invite me over there? Somewhere. Yeah, uh-huh. you invite me over there, and even then, I'm not coming. Because yeah. you could kidnap me. You could be out somewhere in right. the world. Yeah, I don't exactly. let nobody know where I would even, I do not like that at all. Like, I had some, you know what? Like, so I had this guy, right, on Instagram. Go ahead, no. Okay, don't forget. Um, I have this guy on Instagram, you know, and he slid into the DMs or whatnot. I kept it, you know, just simple, basic, strictly platonic or whatnot. Um, so he was like, yeah, what you up to? And I was like, nothing much, just chilling at home. He was like, um, you drink, you smoke. I was like, I don't smoke, but you know, I, I have a drink every once in a while. And he was like, like he legit asked me to come to his house and drink and i was just like like, literally i've never met this guy a day in my life he slid into my dms from instagram so the fact that you wanted me to come to your house and get me intoxicated and i have no idea i've never like what i said no no. what i've never even seen you face to face like what no i don't know you could kidnap me you could try to rape me you could do you know what happen anything i have a kid to live for y'all are smarter than that i'm not one of those females you can take advantage of mm-hmm. it's not that easy the d is not that important to me it really is <laughs> it is it not really that is. important to me at all time okay long. my life and my safety is way mm-hmm. more of value than the eggplant <laughs> well, you asked what don't you tell was. nobody where you live okay okay <laughs> no facts i have, I have no. had the most horrible experiences, okay? Have my tires popped, windows broken out, Crazy. window to my bedroom broken out, okay? I can't so see over- any of that does in my life. I had my tires it slashed before. That was that. I've had my tires slashed before too. None of it. Well, I'm not about to talk about that. What was the point I was getting at right there? Don't, like, don't, don't, don't tell nobody where you live. Yeah, because these women be trying to come we're talking Not about random. we're talking about the past right now. These women were trying to come over so bad, so bad. I just just let them. But nowadays, no, we're gonna go let's go to the damn park, go to the <laughs> movies, right. we're going out to eat, we're going fucking bowling. We gotta do all these things before <laughs> I give you my address, okay? I'm damn sure not about to ask you where the hell you live. No, I'm trying to get yeah. to know you. Right. But I've had too many women pop up. In my lifetime, too many. When I've had other women at my house, oh. don't give them your okay. damn address. There's that. <laughs> right? There's that. Yeah, that's the what we're getting to. The caveat. Here we go. Nice thing on the case. When yeah. I've had other women here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be smart, man. It is. Be smart. The women is. too. Don't yeah. just be letting these niggas schedule your booty over. calls uh, with enough. You know, time in between. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Have a, a, a timely, fast Don't have them booty, overlap. booty call. Okay? Don't have a six o'clock and a nine o'clock. Right? Mm-hmm. You need mm-hmm. an hour, a lot of hours between. You know, why am I talking like I, I, I don't do it? This is the past, Michael, okay? The past. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's that last video. Um, Since how long ago? Yeah, since an hour ago. <laughs> since when? <laughs> Having that thought of not wanting to start all 
all over again. Mm. Start Killer. fresh with somebody. It's like we got so many years built into this. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, it felt great to be able to be like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we've been together since this long. Oh, you know what I'm saying? We know so much. We know damn near everything about each other. We know, I know you like the back of my hand, but then it's just like, like don't point. be afraid to start over. If it's toxic, it's toxic and stress can kill you. Okay. Mm -hmm. We already got enough stress going on in the world, whether it be work, kids, Money, we bills, got, we got these strokes and brain aneurysms on the, right. right. In the black right. community, we got too heart much attack. Heart attacks. We got yeah. everything. High blood pressure. Yeah. Everything. everything. Mm -hmm. so Diabetes. Like, you don't we already got sweets. other things to worry about. Hey, brother, you don't got another sweet? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we keeping no, this in the video? <laughs> you need some Oreos? <laughs> what you need? <laughs> yeah. I need some Oreos. <laughs> 